Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna test the hash rates of the RTX 3070 Ti. All right, I'm really excited for this one. We're gonna get this unboxed, get it up on the test bench and get it hashing and some algorithms. I got it from EVGA's Auto Notify queue. And I'm just really excited. It's a brand new GPU I can do some testing on. So let me get it unboxed, get it slotted up, and we'll get going. All right, I got it up on Ethereum. I figured let's get this one over with since we know it won't be full performance. So you can see I got a 44.2 mega hash at 153 watts. Now, as far as overclocks, my power limit is at 100. I took the core clock all the way down and I completely maxed out the memory and it's still going. I don't know if that's because this GPU is amazing or because it's really not testing too much of the memory inside that GPU since it's limiting the hash rate for Ethereum. I'm also wondering like the RTX 3060 halved the hash rate that the 3060 could do on Ethereum when it was locked. We learned that when it got unlocked. I don't know if that's true here. I mean, if that's half the hash rate that this GPU can do at 44 mega hash, that thing can do 90 mega hash if it gets unlocked. That seems that seems amazing. So fingers crossed that this thing gets unlocked at some point in the future. I'm not gonna mess around with Ethereum too much. You can see that efficiency is just garbage. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is move on to some other algorithms here. I'll have chapters down below for everything I'm gonna test. So if you're interested in one of those, you can skip to that chapter, see what kind of results I get, see what kind of overclocks I get. And yeah, we're just gonna take it one by one. All right, first crypto we're gonna test is gonna be Ravencoin. And you can see right now on Ravencoin, this 3070 Ti is hitting over 40 mega hash. And this is where I'm running my overclock. So I have the power limit all the way up right now, just to see what it's made of. Core clock is maxed out from what I can get it at 200 stable and mem clock is all the way maxed out at 1500 and it's stable there. And where that's, what that's given me is it's still climbing, but that's given me 40 to 41 mega hash at a crazy 300 watts. You can see the whole system power measured at the wall there. So what we need to do is figure out where this can be more efficient. And I've done a little testing and it seems like at least in the limited testing I've done right now, going 80% power limit will uh, keep that mega hash as close to 40 as possible, but shave off about 50 watts. So you can see we dropped from 307 to 247. See we dropped at the wall as well. And our mega hash is still looking pretty good at 40 mega hash. So we'll say that this RTX 3070 Ti can do 40 mega hash and we'll just say about uh, 250 watts. So let's go ahead and put that into what to mine and that's on Kapow algorithm. So let's just get a sense of where this will land. So 40 mega hash, 250 watts. And what kind of profitability are we looking at here? If we were mining just Ravencoin on this GPU, we're looking at about $4 a day profit at 10 cent electric rate. So that's where Ravencoin's at. Let's continue testing some more GPU uh, algorithms and see what we get. All right, up next is Ergo. I know there's a lot of fans of Ergo out there, so I got this one, I think, pretty dialed in. Hitting 181 mega hash at 170 watts. You can see the overclocks I'm running there for my specific 3070 Ti. So let's head over to What's On Mine again and enter in 181 mega hash at 171 watts for the Ergo algorithm. So let's do it, 181 for 170 watts and let's see how this gpu does in profitability on that algorithm so ravencoin still has a beat but looking pretty good uh taking in over three dollars a day on the 3070 ti all right on to the next one all right next up is furo on the mtp algorithm you can see we're hitting about 4.7 mega hash at 230 watts this one i tinkered with for quite a while and you can see the overclocks I'm using in MSI Afterburner. Still I'm able to tweak this one just a little bit, but that's where I've landed on it. And when I've entered that into what's mine over here, 
Again, on the MTP algorithm, 4.7 mega hash at 230 watts. Calculate that. You can see our ranking now. We got Raven first, Ergo second, and Firo coming in, making just about $3, a little under $3 profit a day on 10 cent electric rate. All right, next up is Conflux on the Octopus algorithm. And I gotta say, this thing is absolutely crushing this algorithm. You can see the overclocks that I have here. I got the power limit down to 80%, which is giving me 247 watts measured in the software. Now what was interesting is I couldn't push the memory as hard, so I had to dial it back a little bit. And this algorithm definitely liked that core clock a little bit, and that got me up to 73 mega hash on this GPU. So I went ahead and entered that into what's mine here. And you can see the profitability now with Conflux coming really close to Ravencoin coming in at $3.28 profit a day with 10 cent electric rate. So really impressed with that one. Uh, let's do the next one. All right, up next is Flux, previously known as Zellcash. You can see we're hitting around 67 solutions per second. And I'm running these overclocks in MSI Afterburner. That's the power at the wall on this GPU. And let's open up what to mine and see what kind of profitability we're gonna get on Flux. Let's hit calculate here. And it's coming in on the bottom there and it's coming in at $2.79 profitability. Ravencoin still number one. All right, on to the next one. All right, for my last one, I was trying to mine Cortex with Gminer, but you can see I'm getting an error that the GPU is out of memory. So I'm not sure what's up with that. If you guys do, let me know in the comment section down below. Well, that's gonna wrap this one up. Obviously, these are quick overclocks. These are quick testing of these algorithms on this new GPU. So as time goes on, it'll get more dialed in. If you guys got one of these 3070 Ti's and you have some recommendations on overclocks and power limits and what kind of hash rates we should be able to expect on these, Leave it in the comment section down below. Join my Discord if you want to chat about any of this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I will see you in the next video.